A group of flood survivors from northern New South Wales are protesting outside Prime Minister Scott Morrison's Kirribilli home in Sydney this morning. The nine survivors, from Lismore, brought with them a truck full of debris from their destroyed homes. The remnants of their homes, dumped on the pavement, included toys, a Christmas tree and wrecked homewares. Bodies found bound together in Queensland Dam. They say they are frustrated by the government's inaction on climate change. The Lismore residents say they are frustrated by Mr Morrison's lack of action on climate change. Kudra Ricketts rescued neighbours from flood waters and also lost all her possessions. Ms Ricketts told today she evacuated her house, but expected just a small amount of flood water to enter. It ended up going completely over the roof of my house, destroying everything that I owned," she said. We evacuated to my family house, which has never flooded before. Felt like a safe place to me. It flooded up to my shoulders. Lismore resident Kudra Ricketts' home was destroyed in the flood. Mr Morrison was not at home to witness the protest. His car was seen driving out of the front gates just before protesters arrived. It's not just all the things you see in front of us that we lost," another protester said. Not just photo albums and artwork that we had to throw out on the street. We lost a sense of safety and security. Ms Ricketts said she hoped their message would still reach the Prime Minister. I hope that he's able to listen to the media, she said. A day of devastation, Sydney's flood chaos in pictures. He's done the same thing as he did when he was in Lismore. He didn't want to talk to us. He doesn't want to speak to us again. I can see that. It's time he starts to listen to us. Unless we take real action on climate change, this is going to keep on happening not just our community, but to other communities as well.